millions homeless, thousands lost their lives, and the consequences will remain for decades. It's a war that was inevitable. Started centuries ago, but was ignited last month when nearly 2,000 Hamas militants stormed into Israel, killing around 1,400 people, mostly Israeli civilians, including women and children. But though Israel didn't start this war, Israel will finish it. Israel clapped back, and it is still underway. But who is winning the Israel versus Hamas war? It's Qatar. Welcome to International Hotspot, and today we'll be talking about how Qatar is winning the Israel versus Hamas war. But before we get down to business, why don't you consider subscribing to our channel? Qatar, a tiny nation that juts out of the Arabian Peninsula. It's about twice the size of Delaware, with just 300,000 citizens. Despite its small size, Qatar's influence spreads far. It's home to the Al Jazeera News Network and a sprawling US airbase with US troops. Last year, it hosted the World Cup soccer games, and now it's playing a key role more than 1,000 miles to the west. It is a close US ally and the regional power best positioned to both influence Hamas and play a mediating role with Israel. The conflict in question began on October 7th, when nearly 2,000 Hamas militants infiltrated Israel, resulting in the loss of around 1,400 lives, the majority of them Israeli civilians, including women and children. These militants also took an estimated 240 hostages. A quarter of a million Israelis had to evacuate their homes due to the constant threat of further attacks. And daily rocket fire from Gaza into Israel persists, although most missiles are intercepted. Israel's counterattacks on the Gaza Strip have led to more than 9,000 casualties, with 70% of them being women and children, according to Palestinian health officials in Gaza. Nearly 200,000 homes have been destroyed, and the Gaza Strip's 2.3 million residents are in dire straits, grappling with shortages of clean water, medicine, fuel, food and electricity. While Qatar isn't directly involved in the conflict, it is far from a passive observer. Here's what you should know about Qatar's significant role in Gaza and beyond. Chapter 1 – Qatar's Behind-the-Scenes Role In recent weeks, Doha, Qatar's capital, has played a key role in brokering the release of four Israeli hostages held by Palestinian militants. It has also been instrumental in negotiations alongside the US, Egypt, Israel and Hamas to help foreigners trapped in Gaza exit through the territory's border with Egypt. Additionally, Qatar has facilitated the transfer of several dozen wounded Palestinians out of more than 22,000 casualties to Egypt for medical treatment, as confirmed by Palestinian health officials. Qatar's ability to perform these mediating functions is partially due to its hosting of Hamas leaders in exile. However, it's uncertain whether this can continue in the face of mounting pressure from the US, Israel and Europe, all of which classify Hamas as a terrorist organization. Chapter 2 – Money Trail in Gaza For years, Qatar has been financially supporting tens of thousands of Palestinian teachers, doctors and public servants in Gaza, which has been under an Israeli blockade since Hamas took control in 2007. Israeli reports and analysts estimate that Qatar has sent more than $1 billion to Gaza over the past decade. This aid was channeled through fuel to Gaza's Hamas government, which in turn sold the fuel to cover partial salaries. In the past, 
The funds were physically transported in suitcases filled with cash. Chapter 3 Al Jazeera and Qatar's Soft Power Al Jazeera, the Qatar-based news network primarily funded by the Qatari government, is one of the most widely viewed Arabic channels globally. It is one of the few news outlets broadcasting live from across the Gaza Strip during the current conflict, delivering news in both Arabic and English. While Al Jazeera's alternative viewpoints on major Middle East crises have irked Israel and some Middle Eastern governments, it remains an invaluable source of news and information for hundreds of millions of homes with Arabic satellite receivers. Chapter 4 Maintaining Global Ties Qatar is not just a regional player, but also maintains a global presence. It hosts thousands of U.S. troops at the Al Udaid Air Base, serving as a regional headquarters for U.S. Central Command. Qatar played a pivotal role in evacuating people from Afghanistan, hosted U.S. Taliban peace talks, and continues to house members of the Taliban. The country also maintains close ties with Iran, sharing an underwater gas field in the Persian Gulf. Chapter 5 – Qatar's Relationship with Israel Despite not publicly condemning the Hamas attacks on Israel, Qatar was one of the first Gulf Arab states to establish trade ties with the Israel in the 90s. However, these ties have since been severed, and Qatar's emir has criticized Israel's actions in the Gaza Strip. In conclusion, Qatar's remarkable ability to wield influence on the global stage despite its small size is a testament to its strategic intelligence and resourcefulness. Throughout the Gaza conflict and in other international endeavors, Qatar has consistently demonstrated its skill in leveraging its unique position and resources to broker peace, offer humanitarian aid and maintain diplomatic ties with various actors from the US to Iran. Qatar's hosting of influential media outlets like Al Jazeera, its financial support for Gaza and its role as a mediator in diplomatic negotiations showcase a nation that thrives on seizing opportunities. Its capacity to balance relationships with diverse and at times conflicting parties highlights a diplomatic finesse that few nations can match. While Qatar's approach may not always align with every perspective, its intelligence in navigating the complexities of international relations remains a significant factor in shaping the dynamics of the Middle East and beyond. And with that, it's time for us to call it a day. But we do hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.